So after a few months since the last European Grand Prix race in 2010 though it's on this track though, but this time for 2011 those one season, it's been updated. Hello everybody, my name is James Wallace, here's another James Gaming Channel on YouTube, and welcome everybody to the 6th round of World Championship guys. It's the European Grand Prix, but this time we've got a new layout circuit we got today guys, here for this European Grand Prix itself. We've got 24 drivers to do qualifying for this, and now the driver took over the Canadian Grand Prix after Monaco was cancelled. We're here for this track there for the 6th round of the World Championship in the 2011 season so far. After this, let's take a look at the driver Championship after that few races ago, but this is where the qualifiers will be pretty good as this so far. And let's take a look at the championship we'll get so far. Here it is. So here's the championship so far. Here it is after set five fans clear, Alonso is leading the charge budget six points from my foe. Back and Marzoli just one point between each other and both Hamilton and Bar are both tied together for three points. In the quarter championship, Williams are leading by round racing. Then it's very in third, and then it's just McLaren by just two points. So we'll get ready for this, guys. It's time to begin qualifying for the European Grand Prix. So first of all, it's Nick Heitfeld, and the Lotus Wear driver is off a slap indeed. So this is a new part of the circuit that we're going to go for this drive here, guys, here in Valencia. So yeah, let's see what Heitfeld could do for this new part of this layout here in Europe, guys. So it's a new track layer it is so far guys. And let's see where there's going to be a good lap for him, for Nick Heitfeld to begin this opening round. Um, we're now heading towards the new layout, he's just gone past the first new layout. He's into the next part of this. This new European track circuit is most better for this for this one uh, since last season. Because it was a bit shorter than it is so far for this. But this one's a bit longer for that. The same guy has been pulled over there, but don't worry we'll be there. For where he stays soon there for that guy. Anyway, here comes Heitfeld. Ground last quarter goes with now, and it's going to be a 45.032 for that time for Pipefeld. Good luck for that, so that's a good time to beat that so far indeed. Okay, that's the first try next up. It's past the mile, another for um, Williams, I think. So Pipefeld has pulled over, so don't worry, he will complete his lap in a couple of moments time there. Past the mile, Nando is off for his lap immediately so far, guys. So... He needs to be a good one. Well done for that section. He goes for the hairpin. He goes for it. Now, oh my word. What happened there? To that power well, To that DHU sign. Wow. Those are new signs to be on the barriers for this session, guys. But this is getting well so fine D for this first new layout for this European track after the Trade 10 season. Please so how this one for these try to suit their car up for this one for qualifying. Let's see where Martin and I would go. Oh, for God's sake, that weren't the lap time indeed. And unfortunately, we didn't count that as a lap time indeed. So we'll count that as a 45.132 for that indeed. Wait for the next driver to do the lap. It's Sebastian Vettel though. So Martin and I will put it a bit of first stop too. So he's just preparing for his beginning lap. Okay, off he goes. And he will begin his lap. It's here in. They were just letting Martin on off at the moment so far, guys. So where was Sebastian? We'll end this lap very quickly indeed for this Red Bull driver, though. So just two drivers in the lap so far and quickly indeed so far. Next up is Sebastian Feller for the Red Bull Racing Team. So this is going more pacey end than this so far. This track is more very quick indeed so far since last season we did this in Europe. So what a number one could do now here in this track, though. So that's what Fettel could do for this track, though, guys. Very much very quick and D so well immediately. He's faster than Heitfeld and Mardonado indeed. So where was Sebastian will go for this lap time indeed? Let's see where we we gonna stop there. For God's sake, this is suck, isn't it, guys? I'm gonna say that a 45.122 for that for Fettel. So he's got second fastest indeed. Alright, the Wilson drive. Vitaly Petro is next up. Let's see what the Wilson can do for this track though. So let's see what would Vitaly do around this Russian Grand Prix track soon enough in the future. Well, actually, it's the European, actually. Sorry about that, guys. One track circuit it is, guys. Sorry about that. So what would Vitaly Petro do on this layout here in Valencia? Well, we're going to see how he could find out for this track indeed. Vitaly Petro going well for this so far for this. His car is putting the technology that needs to in that seat's Get this bottomed up the time. 
Or the bottom tile will not be pretty good so far indeed. Yeah. But anyway, let's see where would Petra go this lap time indeed. Oh god, this is so slippery, isn't it? I'm gonna say that's a 45.212, and that's good luck from Petrov indeed. Okay, so Mondo has pulled up there so far. Well, next up is will be Jensen Button for McLaren. Let's see what he can do for this lap time for McLaren. Jensen Button next up indeed. Let's see what Button could do for this lap time indeed. He's off now. And let's see where would Jensen would go for this lap indeed. So let's see. Going through to the first two corners, then he will go through to the new to Kane, the new track layout that we got for this weekend, guys. For this European Grand Prix, next week will be Britain in Silverstone for Britain's home Grand Prix. So please see how Jensen Berg will love this track indeed, so far indeed. So let's see where we go for this lap indeed. Before we go into the corner he goes through now, he just can't pass that second news layout to Kane there. So where would Jensen would end up his lap time there, guys? Let's see. Let's find out. Um, let's see. Um, a 45.380 for that lap time for Jensen Button. Good lap indeed so far for Jensen. So Paul Duresta will be the next man to do this lap indeed. And he's just begun his lap indeed. We didn't start this lap indeed, so... We just need to move, move this keyboard more often, this guys. So yeah, pretty much better we go through for this track indeed. Here with this Valencia circuit, actually it's the European track circuit. It is so far, guys. For this, sponsored by these famous clubs like the Manchester United ones. So, yeah, pretty much indeed. Part of for this. Part for that is going more circuit track layout indeed for our edit it so far. So if we go to extra. More exercise goes for these faster than Cove Lyven's time from that in Canada. So he's doing most of his faster than I thought. Oh, Petro indeed. But we go to the fire corner and he's oh he's stuck. Oh dear. Um. Well, so we we'll said that as a forty-five point one two two for that lap time. Well, actually, no, no, no. That's a bit rubbish. Okay, we'll be right back in a couple of minutes' time, guys. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the European Grand Prix qualifying session. The next car is coming up now, and it's Noreen Kartikeyan. We're back in once again for this, and this time we got we continue on where we left off. So, next up is the Hispanic racer of Noreen Kartikeyan. He's the next driver to do his lap so far indeed. So let's see what the Hispanic racing driver will do so like this here for this. And we'll see the rest of the drive in the next part tomorrow. So for Noreen Kartikeyan... This sponsor for the Hispanic racing team is much, pretty much better as he goes through this circuit indeed for this Indian driver. This European track circuit is going much better than it is so far for this. But this is going much better as he goes through now. Heading towards the fire circuit okay, now, let's see where he's going to go for his lap time there guys. A 45.123, wow, that's not good lap time at all, but good lap from Kartikian though guys. Okay, Lewis is prepared to do his lap so far. Okay, off he goes. Alright, Lucy's on his lap now so far for this. Let's see what the lap time will do so far over 45 seconds. So, yeah. So, Fiddy Tully Lucy for the Hispanic Racing Team, the number 23 Italian. Doing well so far for this season so far. Got 8th place in the last race in Canada, indeed. So, good, good points there for Hispanic Racing Team to get. Good advantages in the point system so far for this. They think we'll last it to get seven place in the Cruiser Short Championship for this. They were black, but that probably wear them um, white for this one indeed for this season so far. But where does Lapsus go put him so far? So let's see. Lucy's doing well so far. Going much better as he goes for the laptop indeed. Cross the line is a 44.9 of 100. And he has gone fastest indeed than Nick Hypho. So Lucy's gone fastest indeed. So next up is Hey Caroline for the Lotus team. So Team Lotus are up and away now. So let's see what Tex Nissan they would, would do for this session. So fine D so well for this. Hey Caroline for Team Lotus. Doing more press it goes through it for this team indeed. So yeah. What will Hakey would do for this lap time here at this European track circuit? We'll find out. But let's see what we can do for this lap time indeed. So let's see. 
before he goes. And this is okay, he goes through now. So this is where the pace most gets quicker than he goes through right now. So yeah. So through to goes into the right hand he goes through now. Gone to this long straight that he goes through now. This track has got a lot of corners that he goes through now. Whoa, I think it was a 274 for that. A 45.274 set for that indeed so far for this laptop indeed. So, Mark Webber is next up for web racing though. So let's see what the Australian can do for this track in Europe. For the European Grand Prix tomorrow. So Webber didn't face the race last season in 2010 though. Unfortunately, he retired from that race indeed last season. But what about this 2011 race though for this one? Yeah, well, hopefully this will be more. It's much different since the last season we did. So we see a lot of drivers had the red flag there. But hopefully this track of this race, though, is more technical indeed so far for drivers to overtake around this track, though. So far, this is going well for Mark Webber, though, for this season so far. But he's got 15 points so far. And in time, we'll be the same point as his teammate, Sebastian Vettel, though. So where will Webber will end up for this laptop indeed? It's a 44.849. Webber has gone faster than Fittola Lucy. Wow. Excellent lap there for Mark Webber, though, guys. He has gone faster than Fittola Lucy, indeed. All right, Hamilton is just going to begin his lap, indeed, so far. But there's a lot of fear on the trick so far. As both Kovalari and Webber and Hamilton are both batting out, indeed. But neither of them haven't stopped. Just yet, because they haven't come into pitch yet. Weber and Kovalev are batting out in D. So, Robert Hamilton is out of so far for this. These three are battling in T. So, so Robert Hamilton is winning up so far indeed. So, for the go into this new part of the circuit indeed. So, this is a new track layout. This is just part of this new track service for the old layout in 2010. So, Hamilton must get the pressure on for this race for this. So, oh, I'm just got a good line there for Edge indeed. Let's see where he's going to go for his lap time indeed. It's a 44.863 for that for Hamilton though. And he goes second quickest than Webber. He's not faster than Webber at all. So that's 11 drive done so far. What about the next one? Michael Schumacher from Mercedes. Oh, he just started his lap indeed. But we just begun his lap before he did it. So, what will Schumacher do for his lap indeed so far? For Mercedes, so let's see where he will go for this lap time, guys. Let's see. As he goes through into the happy he goes through now. This is where a good place to be in here in this track, indeed, here in um, Europe. For the European Grand Prix for tomorrow. The back side of the car will be much better as he goes through the grip and goes through now. Going through the left hand is much easier than go on the can there go for this. As Schumacher continued to turn, he's not quite faster than Webber's pace in D so far, but let's see where he will go for his laptop indeed. Let's see. A 45.354 for that lap time for Schumacher though, and he only goes in the bottom of the field. Alonso has just begun his lap so far, but he's the next drive to his lap so far. We've got a lot of times to do on the battery life for this phone indeed. So, Alonso heading towards a new part of the section's track so far here in Europe, guy. He stood the championship leader, does as the championship leader, failed to get any points in the last race in Canada. He went out the trudge of lap few ups to the end of the race. So what will Vlad Alonso do here in this track in Europe for the European Grand Prix, like in Spain, like his home track, but he's in Luxembourg, actually. So for this track in Luxembourg, it's much prettier than it is so far for this. So where will Alonso will go for this lap time in T? So where he will go for this track though, guys? Before he goes into the fire, he goes through now. Where is this lap time going to put him? A 44.941. He has gone third fastest indeed. So Alonso is just behind both Webber and Hamilton now. So Alonso has gone fourth for the merger. Just behind Fid to the Lucy there. So what about his teammate Felipe Massa though? Can he match Webber's pace or somebody else's pace? Much better than this so far. Let's go and boy him. So, hey, he's just gone past the first goal, going down to turn two, and the hairpin itself, turn three. There's a hairpin at turn four itself. So, good move there from Felipe Massa, though. This is a good time. Happy goes through now. So, this is most going to be better there. Down to the right at turn five. Now, into the right, and then the new part of let's say, track, let's say, 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 let's
So Felipe Massa, not that quick in D so far for the FI though. But let's see what the FI driver can do for this lap here in Europe. Let's see where he goes. For God's sake! Do it again! And I'm gonna say that's a 45.122, for, or actually 156 for that lap time for Massa death. I'll say that indeed. Wasper's just got ready to go now, and he's just begun his lap immediately, so fine deed for Mercedes. So let's see, this will be the last one he will be doing for this first part of this qualifying set of this. Unfortunately, it will be too late to do the other drives indeed so far. We'll do the rest and done tomorrow indeed. So yeah, so Wasper is the last man to go do this lap indeed so far. Guys, let's see where he will go for this lap time indeed so well. So let's see. Through he goes, into the game he goes through now. Going through this new layout section, it's much better that he goes through now. He's the 15 drives to go do this lap on this new track layout indeed. And we'll do the rest of them tomorrow. So yeah. So where will Wasp will end up with this lap time indeed? So let's see what happens there. We will cross the line indeed. So let's see. A 45.022. That's a good lap indeed so far for Wasp. But uh, good start to that for Wasp for Nico indeed for Mercedes. So yeah guys, that is the end of the first part of this quad, guys, yeah it is indeed.